a very good morning my dear friends and welcome to our channel mother mary's protection let us now listen to the word of god this is gospel reading for today gospel reflection and catholic mass readings for may 21 2024 tuesday of the 7th week of easter first reading a reading from the letter of james chapter 4 verses 1 to 10 beloved where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from is it not from your passions that make war within your members you covet but do not possess you kill and envy but you cannot obtain you fight and wage war you do not possess because you do not ask you ask but do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions adulterers do you not know that to be a lover of the world means enmity with god therefore whoever wants to be a lover of the world makes himself an enemy of god or do you suppose that the scripture speaks without meaning when it says the spirit that he has made to dwell in us tends toward jealousy but he bestows a greater grace therefore it says god resists the proud but gives grace to the humble so submit yourselves to god resist the devil and he will flee from you draw near to god and he will draw near to you cleanse your hands you sinners and purify your hearts you of two minds begin to lament to mourn to weep let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into dejection humble yourselves before the lord and he will exalt you the word of the lord thanks be to god response real psalm your response throw your cares on the lord and he will support you and i say had i but wings like a dove i would fly away and be at rest for we i would flee i would launch in the wilderness your response throw your cares on the lord and he will support you i would wait for him who saves me from the violent storm and the tempest engulf them o lord divide their counsels your response throw your cares on the lord and he will support you in the city i see violence and strife day and night they prowl about upon its walls your response throw your cares on the lord and he will support you cast your care upon the lord and he will support you never will he permit the just man to be disturbed your response throw your cares on the lord and he will support you the acclamation alleluia alleluia may i never boast except in the cross of our lord jesus christ through which the world has been crucified to me and i to the world alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to mark chapter 9 verses 30 to 37 jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through galilee but he did not wish anyone to know about it he was teaching his disciples and telling them the son of man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him and 3 days after his death the son of man will rise but they did not understand the saying and they were afraid to question him they came to capernaum and once 
inside the house he began to ask them what were you arguing about on the way but they remained silent for they had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest then he sat down called the 12 and said to them if any one wishes to be first he shall be the last of all and the servant of all taking a child he placed it in their midst and putting his arms around it he said to them whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me and whoever receives me receives not me but the one who sent me the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's gospel reflection my dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus a very significant lesson is imparted to us by this gospel reading mark 9 30 to 37 humility and service to others are genuine measures of grandeur not wealth power or prestige it is easy to feel inclined to evaluate ourselves in our culture based on the possessions or accomplishments we have made power celebrity or prosperity are frequently the things that propel us jesus on the other hand demonstrates to us that a true greatness comes from serving others especially the least fortunate my dear friends in today's gospel reading mark 9 30 to 37 jesus was advocating for us to emulate children in our humility innocence and reliance on god when he used a child as an example children don't worry about the power money or prestige they are trustworthy transparent and honest likewise we ought to endeavor to be modest truthful and compassionate having faith in god's purpose for our being my dear friends in the same way that jesus served everyone he also calls us to serve everyone by healing the ill feeding the hungry and washing his disciples feet he demonstrated to us what it means to serve to save us he even gave up his own life he instilled in us the idea that serving others and prioritizing their needs over our own is the path to true greatness let's ask ourselves how can i serve others today as we consider this gospel reading mark 9 30 to 37 helping a neighbor lending a sympathetic ear to your buddy in need or working at a local charity will suffice it doesn't have to be a spectacular effort serving others is a way for us to follow jesus example and share his love with the world let us pray lord god give us a grace to be humble to serve others with love and to become more like children in our trust and dependence on you may we always remember that a true greatness lies in serving others and may we strive to live our lives in a way that honors this truth amen my dear friends please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching god bless you